Welcome to day 29 of the 31 Days of Horror series, and today we're diving into a horror thriller that's all about slow burn suspense and creepy twists. The 2000 film, What Lies Beneath. Go up on the look. Now, this isn't just your typical jump scare horror flick. This one builds tension so well that by the end, you're questioning your own damn reflection. Directed by Robert Zemeckis, What Lies Beneath stars Michelle Pfeiffer and Harrison Ford, which, let's be honest, it's already a win. Pfeiffer plays Claire, a woman dealing with the whole haunted house situation. But here's where it gets good. It's not just a house, it's her marriage, her past, and that damn bathtub. This movie makes something as simple as a bath turn into one of the most unsettling things you'll ever see. What Lies Beneath is all about the buildup. It takes time, and yeah, some people might call it slow, but that's what makes it so good. It's like peeling back layers of a mystery you don't really want to solve. As Claire starts piecing together what's going on, the film pulls you deeper into this twisted game of who's haunting who. By the end, when you get to the big reveal, you're too scared to look away. This film isn't about gore or blood, it's all psychological. Zemeckis uses subtle tricks and mirrors, reflections and sounds to mess with your head. And then there's a bathtub. If you know you know, that one scene, horror gold. It's one of those hold your breath and hope it ends soon moments that stick with you long after the credits roll. And the chemistry between Pfeiffer and Ford is on point. Ford, who we're used to seeing as a hero, gives us a much darker complex character here while Pfeiffer is phenomenal as a woman spiraling into her own haunted reality. Their dynamic adds layers to the tension, because half the time you're wondering if the real horror is the ghost or something far worse. What Lies Beneath is a hidden gem of the early 2000s that deserves more love. It's creepy, intense, and makes you think twice before looking into the mirror alone. If you're up for a movie that's more psychological than bloody, this one's definitely worth the watch. I can't swim. How old are you? Six. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to check back tomorrow for our next installment of the 31 Days of Horror series.